What is up YouTube? Welcome to finally Minecraft 1.3. Um, I'm actually currently running the pre-release so if there's any bugs or any things um, take this as a note that uh, whenever the final release is it's hopefully um, the Mojang team can obviously fix it but that's just like a disclaimer of this video blah blah blah. Um, so yeah this is the 1.3 uh, version of Minecraft. Um, this video is going to be just the menu. Um, I'm going to split uh, the updates kind of in like three sections um, one is just gonna be the main menu uh, there's a couple of single-player stuff um, then there's gonna be a, a probably a, a survival and a creative part and just showing you random stuff uh, for, from the update but uh, let's get this started so one of the new features that uh, that you can tell from single-player is um, more options um, when you go to create a new world you can go to more world options and there's about three new features uh, one is the large biomes. Um, this wasn't in any of the other versions. Um, the only default and super flat were available. Um, world type now, you can set it to large biomes. Um, I don't know the scaling of the large biomes. I don't know if they're double the size of normal, if they're triple or quadruple, um, but they're going to be larger than normal. So that's that. Then you have allowed cheats. Um, this is kind of like your single player type commands. Um, they allow you to change your game mode, um, change the time, um, toggle down, uh, uh, to well, it's called toggle downfall, but, uh, rain, you can all change that. Um, but you can only turn it on when you start a world. So if you do want cheats on, um, like to do anything, just make sure you have it on. I don't think you can change it, but you might be able to. I'm not positive, but, um, cheats and a bonus chest. Now, the bonus chest doesn't work in hardcore. So if you want to play hardcore, bonus chest does not work, but, but, uh, the bonus chest in a short summary, allows you to get a bunch of free items when you start off your game so it's usually like randomized between food wood and some tools maybe some torches so yeah that's that um and that i'm pretty sure that's it for um for single player uh multiplayer oh my goodness i've been waiting for this so long okay for example or and, and here's the reason look at my multiplayer list I don't play them all, you know, I don't play them all the time, um, but I do have a majority, a lot of servers. So here's the issue. Um, if you look at one of, like, look at these servers, they're kind of offline, right? But I don't want to, like, delete them because I might, like, might want to play on them another day or whatever. Um, what you can do is you can hold shift and you can use your arrow keys to move servers around. So, for example, uh, Juiceville, um, welcome to Juiceville. Um, I'm actually a mod in there, so I might want to move it up near the top. Um, Skitscape server is pretty f popular. Um, I don't know why he's at 25 users right now, but he's probably doing something. Uh, but I, his server is usually packed, so I'll put that there. Um, these servers are pretty empty, so if I go down, move another server up, and as you can see, um, it keeps basically moving the um, the servers up. And to save it, you just hit cancel. I I don't know how it saves it, it just saves it, um, and every time you come back, it will be there. Um, another thing um, is scanning for land worlds. Um, if you have an empty multiplayer list, um, scanning for land worlds, basically, if you have another computer on the same network, um, as long as the networks are connected, um, some networks are not fully connected and whatnot, so the land worlds might not show up if the your network is just not properly set up. So land worlds, you can find that. Um, so that's it for multiplayer. Uh, texture packs, nothing really here except texture packs. Um, there might be some back-end performance or changes, but eh, you don't really need to know about that. Options. This is probably one of the cool things, chat settings. Um, I've been on servers before, and sometimes the chat is just very, very spammy. Um, you just want to hide that chat. Well, you can do that. Uh, chat, uh, there's three options. A shown, a commands only, and a hidden. Uh, commands only, uh, basically if you type commands, um, I think that it shows up then, um, or if you just want to hide it at all, there's that. So you have three options. Uh, colors, some servers have a lot of colors, um, because I don't have a server um, to play on right now with colors. Actually, I don't even think colors is a default thing anymore. But if it's implemented or whatnot, uh, colors on or off. Um, web links, um, this is good if, if you, servers do advertisement or announcements, um, and you always like accidentally click on links, well, you can do this so that when you click on those links, they don't pop up. Um, prompt on links, basically what this means is when you do click on a link, um, 
instead of having you prompt yes to open it or copy it, um, you can just have it off and it'll just automatically open it up into your web browser. Um, and then you have an uh, opacity. I'll obviously do that in one of my other videos to kind of show you uh, what the opacity looks like. Um, but I think that's it for that chat settings. Controls. Um, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything that would change. Uh, language. Uh, Stuber settings. Um, this is basically uh, a specs collection of your computer. Um, basically, Mojang asks for information about your computer. Um, I don't mind filling in. It's just simple information. I'll kind of make it look blurry, but you can, guys can obviously check it out. Um, to obviously check for yourself what it is. Um, but obviously, I don't want to show you everything because I don't know. I might have secret files on it or something. I don't know. So that's a snooper thing. Um, it's not. It's not harmful. Um, it's actually, if anything, it helps Mojang figure out um, how to improve Minecraft. To be honest. So um, yeah, that's kind of it for that. Um, but it looks like uh, we're done for the menu part. Um, there's a couple of changes and whatnot. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head off into our survival update uh, part of the uh, section um, so I'm gonna cut the video here uh, click on the uh, annotation on the screen right now to go see that survival and see what has changed in uh, Minecraft 1.3 so I will see you there also if you already seen it um, and you're and you're just what and you've missed it and you're watching this uh, please make sure to hit that subscribe button um, it'll help a lot and uh, if you want to see updated Minecraft videos um, make sure to hit that subscribe button um, I have a Facebook and Twitter so if you want to follow me on all that kind of stuff maybe if something's happened in real life or maybe I'm playing on a server or live streaming or whatever um, obviously hit me up on those links in the description below but uh, yeah this is it for 1.3 update um, if you want to see more hit the annotation if this is your last video I guess I'll see you guys later. I'm DJFire9, and I'm out. Peace.